The heart's main function is to pump blood to the rest of your body. The heart contains four valves. Normal valves have two or three flaps of tissue called leaflets that open and close like gates to control the flow of blood through your heart. Aortic stenosis is a buildup of calcium on the aortic valve leaflets, which causes the leaflets to become stiff over time. This buildup reduces their ability to fully open and close, decreasing blood flow to the rest of your body. Aortic stenosis is usually caused over time as we age, but can also be caused by a birth defect, previous chest radiation, or rheumatic fever. Unlike other forms of heart disease that are caused by genetics, diet, or lifestyle, and can be managed by medications, aortic stenosis is a mechanical problem that cannot be prevented. It can only be effectively fixed by replacing your diseased valve. Aortic stenosis is a progressive disease, which means it gets worse over time. It's typically measured as mild, moderate, or severe aortic stenosis. As a result of the reduced blood flow, the body does not get the oxygen it needs, which may cause symptoms. Patients who have severe aortic stenosis could experience a variety of symptoms that may be confused with simply getting older, including shortness of breath, fatigue or feeling tired all the time, difficulty walking short distances or exercising, lightheadedness, dizziness or fainting, chest pain, swollen ankles and feet, and rapid or irregular heartbeat. Sometimes when an irregular heartbeat or murmur is detected, it could be a sign of an underlying valve problem. Talk to your doctor about diagnosing the cause of your murmur. It's important to know that there may be no outward symptoms of severe aortic stenosis. If you have been diagnosed with severe aortic stenosis and are experiencing symptoms, the disease can be life-threatening and can progress rapidly. Treatment for aortic stenosis depends on how far your disease has progressed. If you have mild or moderate aortic stenosis and are experiencing symptoms, your doctor may monitor you and prescribe medications to help relieve any symptoms. Eventually, if your aortic stenosis becomes more severe, the only effective treatment is to replace your diseased valve. There are two effective treatment options for patients who have been diagnosed with severe aortic stenosis. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, TAVR, sometimes called TAVI, or surgical aortic valve replacement, SAVR, or most commonly called open heart surgery. TAVR is a less invasive procedure than open heart surgery. The TAVR procedure uses a catheter which is most commonly inserted through a small incision in the leg to implant a new valve within your diseased aortic valve. For patients who have been diagnosed with severe aortic stenosis, TAVR may be an option depending on your risk for open heart surgery. Surgical aortic valve replacement, most commonly called open heart surgery, is another option for treating severe aortic stenosis. Most open heart surgeries are performed through an incision across the full length of the chest where your diseased aortic valve is removed and a new valve is sewn in. If you've been told you have severe aortic stenosis, only a properly trained, specialized heart team can recommend the best treatment option based on your overall health. Ask your doctor to refer you for a TAVR evaluation. To find a specialized heart team at a TAVR center near you, visit newheartvalve.com.